Good morning, you guys. It is gloomy day in LA. I kind of like the gloom. I like the gloom, but not the rain. Pretty sky. We're heading to Air One to get a smoothie, and then we have to go to the airport. Our flight's are around noon, and right now it's around 8 o'clock, so we're kind of just packing up. I'm excited to get home. Lily brought the most stuff with the smallest suitcase possible. So last night we were playing like Tetris, Tetris with Lily's suitcase, but I bought some stuff too while I was here. Obviously you guys saw some stuff and I'm gonna have to use this as a carry-on and then this is my purse because I'm gonna be overweight by like two pounds and I refuse to pay the luggage price if you're overweight for like literally barely anything. I'm trying to figure out what would be the heaviest. And I think that tripod is like two pounds. And then I think, also my outfit I'm wearing right now is heavier than what I wore here. So that That's helps, good. like yeah. this is heavy. I forgot about that. Okay, your phone cord is in the side. Okay. Cause that one's not mine. I'm gonna put these away. Look how good these two case looks. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I think I just am good at packing because I, I like I watch my mom do it and she's yeah. so good at it. Yeah, I kind of just throw everything in there. Yeah, you, she threw like three, two pair of shoes and a bunch of just random stuff on one side and I was like, Lily, you already don't have any room. And then Rachel saved the day. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. Also on the way here, I think the, the zipper was like literally cracking open. So it might break. So hopefully it doesn't burst open in the air. If you see me in the LAX airport like this, with my clothes all over the ground, no, you didn't. <laughs> Don't say anything. Let's see what. Oh, Lily, this is not going to shut. Yeah, well. Let's, let's do this. All right, attempting to shut my luggage. Do you want me to sit, sit on it? Or like hold it for when you sit there? I think I should wait to do it until we, until we leave so it doesn't burst while we're gone. Yeah, let's let's go call over to get a smoothie. Yeah. You guys, one time we were drunk trying to get an Uber on that corner and no one would pick us up. Okay, Lily and I are at Air One. We just got some breakfast. I mean, holy mama, water. I know, it's massive. We got some berries. We got, we're gonna split this burrito, bacon and egg breakfast burrito. And then I also wanted to try this smoothie. They say it's like Kourtney Kardashian smoothie order. So we'll see how it is. It's really, really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You're taking an eight black. A little bit. I kind of like that one better. Really? It's not as sweet probably, right? The, I don't know if I like the chunks of the honey. Yeah. The Hailey Bieber one. They were a little bit weird. What does it taste like? I don't want to taste it, but what does it taste like? Strawberry and blueberry smoothie. Okay. Yeah. It's just like, it tastes really good because it's really good ingredients. Yeah. There's like um, coconut water. I don't know. She said it's, like, there's avocado. And yeah. It's filling. Rude. <laughs> I think it's avocado, strawberry, blueberry, like maple syrup. So. Cheers, baby. That's actually going to be good. And I'm excited. It's egg I bacon. wish they would have cut it in half. What do we do? Just each take a bite? Well, it's not cut in half. No. Should I go get a knife? Yeah. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, well, it's not. It's not at all. Maybe a knife. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here's our burrito. It looks so yummy, and I got I got some salsa to go with it. Holly okay. hanging across the door. Neighbors singing tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Tis the season most everywhere. So come home, there's no better place. Waking up on Christmas Day. Who it is? I missed you.
eyes. I miss you. This is the reality. I, I walked in the door 20 minutes ago and we've got pee on the rug. I guess it was here from maybe Dylan didn't see it. Reality of dogs, but I'm sad because I know it was you. This is my brand new rug <laughs> and you're messing up my house. But I just like cleaned it really, really well. It looks a little, it's a little discolored, which I'm worried about because that's what happens with vintage rugs. But I use this, I use this like Bissell carpet vacuum and I have like a pet thing that I, pet odor remover thing that I put inside of it and it helps. They peed on this rug once before and I got it out. So I'm hoping that it's just a water stain, but um, yeah, we are back in Nashville, you guys, and full play mode because the dogs have been in the crate because Dylan is at their football banquet. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed just because I walked into that on the carpet. So that like put me kind of in a bad mood. And then, um, if I'm just being honest, and then I had to finish up editing Vlogmas and I didn't land until seven o'clock, so it's already like 8.30. So that is uploading right now and I have that exporting, so that's fine. Um, but I just feel like I have a ton of stuff. Like I have so many packages right here, so I thought maybe we could like do a little unboxing of PR. And I think some of that stuff is some stuff that I've ordered. And then I also just ordered Uber Eats. I ordered some Mexican food because I've been like craving Mexican food so bad. We were gonna get it last night, our last dinner, but we ended up doing sushi again. Um, from one of my favorite places in Nashville called Poncho and Lefties. I got some fajitas, so I'm very excited. So I'm waiting on that to come, figuring out my video. I gotta make a thumbnail, do the links. And I really just want to sit on the couch and do nothing, but I want to be a little bit productive, maybe get my bag unpacked because tomorrow's Sunday and I want to like deep clean this house because I just feel like it's messy and there's stuff everywhere. So that'll be tomorrow's vlog. But tonight I'm exhausted from travel day and just like the trip in general. And I just want to sit on the couch and like watch a Christmas movie. I'm hoping Dylan isn't too late. They had the football banquet today, which I really was trying to make it back in town for, but the flights just didn't work out. And I landed at 6:45, and the banquet started at seven. Um, and I was like, looked like this, and I had no way. Like I could have just Ubered straight to the banquet, but then I didn't know what I was going to do with my luggage and all that stuff. So I just didn't end up going. So I feel a little bit bad about that, but. Life goes on. It's just life. I had a work trip, he had a work event, and it just didn't work out. So um, I'm literally sitting on my floor because I have my computer charging. And Rue thinks I'm like <laughs> trying to play with her. Rue, love. Excuse me. Excuse me, love. I missed you so much. Why did you grow while I was gone? Why did you grow while I was gone? And why did you pee on the carpet? Did you, were you the one? Were you the one who peed on the carpet? I think it was because before you existed, we never had any pee on our rugs, right Winnie? Because you're perfect. <laughs> Look at the paw size of Rue, you guys. This is my hand. She is literally huge. I think she weighs almost 60 pounds now, you guys. <laughs> I feel like this is an unpopular opinion, but these old cartoons, like the Frosty and like the Rudolph and the, um, what is it like the fire and ice guys are some of my favorite Christmas like things just to have on TV. I remember growing up, let me turn these on. Um, I remember growing up watching these like cartoons on, I think before it was Freeform, it was ABC family and I would watch them before I got ready for church. Um, like Christmas Eve service, we would go to church every night and it just like brings back childhood memories. I would always have it on in my TV um, while I was getting ready, so. I'm gonna leave this on while I finish up work. My food should be here in like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna unbox some of those gifts with you guys, or packages, but not gifts. I ordered like three things because I couldn't decide exactly what I wanted and I'm so hungry. They didn't even give me any chips, you guys. What the heck? God, I have some chips because I literally got this thing of queso. I'm like not having good luck with Uber Eats today. We called Lily and I called an Uber for the airport this morning on our way to LAX and we called an Uber Black, which is supposed to be like a luxury ride. We always get like an XL because the luggage and stuff. And he shows up and I'm like, okay, his car it was looking a little rough. 
And I was like, you know, it's probably fine. Halfway through his car, we're like on the interstate. It shuts off. It's like beeping, beeping, beeping. And I'm sitting right behind him. So I can't see what, what it's saying, like flashing on the dashboard. And Lily like texts me while we were in the car. It was like, his car says low oil. And I'm like, oh my God. But luckily I messaged Uber and they gave me a full refund because it was like a hundred dollar Uber. And I was like, this is ridiculous for the amount of money. And normally I'm not like that. Like normally, normally I just move on, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like try to stand up for myself and I'm glad that I did. I mean, yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat, I'm still trying to get my Vlogmas uploaded, my um, website that I use to make my thumbnails, Pick Monkey. it's like not working right now. I have no idea why, so I need to go figure that out. I wanted to sit down and unbox all of this stuff with you guys on camera. I feel like sometimes watching unboxings can be fun and I have a bunch of packages, so a few of them, I ordered a few of them, I don't know what they are, so. Dylan just got home, he's upstairs. I think he's walking down now, but we're gonna do this quick. The dishwasher's running, if you guys can hear it, that's what it is. That's how I was gonna wait for Rachel down here. Why do they give us something? I don't know. Maybe it's an ornament. Oh, that is so funny. Look at her, she just Snapchatted me. <laughs> is that Cole laughing? Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> First Christmas Mary, Daw and Reese. These are from our friends that were, Dylan was, a, it was he was an old teammate and his wife, I'm guessing Cole's wife did this. Unless Cole's crafty. <laughs> okay, this is from Pharmacy Beauty, which I really love their skincare. They use their moisturizer. Oh, it's a new product. Wish you had dark circles. Da, 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 da. Wake up honey cream, vitamin E eye cream. Nice. But this is like a really nice packaging. I love this. Shoot. Okay, it smells really good. I shouldn't have done that because I know I'm gonna waste product. Dylan, let me put this on your under eyes. What is it? <laughs> you don't have to do that with your, with your mouth. I'm not touching your mouth. Stop opening your mouth like that. Yeah, but I was opening the bottom of my eyes. Why? So you didn't put it in my eyeball. It feels nice, mm. doesn't it? Mm. No? That is so sweet of them to do that. We didn't get them anything when they were married. Yeah, we're bad people. When was this? I was literally sitting on the airplane and we were about to take off and I was watching a TikTok. Girl was wearing it and it was linked in her life to know it and she looked so cute and I literally ordered it as we were taking off on the plane. Here, put it on. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that funny? Yeah, put it on. It's from ASOS and it was like, I think it was like 70 bucks and I was like, okay, wait, this would be a really pretty holiday dress. And it's like high neck. You, it literally looks like a silk sack right now, but it's high neck and then there's no back and then it like drapes down There's no back Like it's backless uh, Like it's halter Isn't that pretty? Yeah. You don't like it? I have a hard time envisioning that I don't know how this is gonna look on. I'm not gonna try it on right now probably maybe tomorrow But I will link it in the description. I just thought it was a really pretty dress. She had it styled with um, like metallic heels and really pretty earrings and I just thought it would be cute for the holidays So I ordered it and I thought it was like a pretty inexpensive price like a good price range for How it looked on her like the quality and it feels pretty nice. So Okay, this is from revolve and I think that I ordered this and I think it's Oh, these are, this is dad's Christmas gift. I got my dad a pair of on clouds. I don't think he watches my videos and I've been posting so much, I don't think he keeps up. But I'll show you guys in case you're looking. This would, and I hope that he likes them, but I have the woman's kind and I really loved the colorway of these. So these are a little Christmas gift for him. I really hope that they fit. And I hope that he thinks that they're comfy. He likes kind of said he wanted a new pair of sneakers. I feel like us girls always get 
you have siblings, let me know if you guys do this. Emily, Sarah, and I, we always just get a bunch of things from my mom and dad, and we just, like, put it all together and say it's all from us. Um, we, like, go in on gifts together because I just feel like we can get them bigger, better things when we do that, and it's just, like, sometimes a little bit more fun. So I got him those, and then I got this sweat set from a nine bing. I think it's a nine bing, you guys. A knee and a nine. I don't know. I wish I could remember, but I can't. Um, okay, I'm obsessed with this. I saw it on the website and I was like, I have to get this because I am obsessed with her stuff. This crew neck, I got the size, what size did I get? I think I got an XL in the sweatshirt. And it's just like a really thin, nice quality and I'm really into navy lately. And the back looks like this and then it has matching joggers which i love a good sweat set i'm like on the hunt to find the perfect sweat set the set i'm wearing right now is from Etern, and i love it so much like really a lot i think it might be one of my favorites but it's just so stupidly expensive that i'm trying to find something that i like as much it's not as expensive and then these pants are so good Little joggers, I love the waistband on these. I like how it's like a little thick, not too thick. And the bottom, they go tight, but there's a little slit on the inseam, which I really like. They're kind of like that strut this pair off of Revolve. So maybe I'll link some of my favorite sweat sets in the description for you guys. I feel like that's a question I get asked like all the time because I'm always, always wearing them in my vlogs. I live in comfy clothes, so. That's that. I think these are for Dylan's mom. One of her Christmas gifts from us. And I can't show it because she, I think, watches the videos. Next up, this is also something I ordered from Sporty and Rich. They did a collab with Adidas, which I think is so sweet. And I got these pants. But now that I'm looking, I'm like, I should have definitely gotten a large. I think, because I do not want them to be tight. So I'm gonna need to try these on. They're also a little bit, I don't know, the quality doesn't really feel that nice, in my opinion, if I'm being like truly honest. And I normally love Sporty and Rich, so I wonder. And then I got the sweatshirt to go with, but they don't match in color at all. So, can I even return this? Because I know it was pricey. <laughs> They're really kind of see-through. And they look a little tight. So, the sweatshirt just says sporty and rich. It's literally super simple. And I'm like, Rachel, did you even really need this? Probably not. So, we're gonna see what we can do about that. All right, last up, I think these two boxes I think those are two boxes of poppy, but this I'm very, very excited about. I think I know what it is. So um, at UGA, if you guys go to Georgia, there's a store called the Indigo Child, and then they have Indigo Home right next to it. It's like a boutique. They have the cutest stuff, and I used to model for them when I was in college. Um, and the owner, Morgan, she is the sweetest. Her mom and her own, like, a few different stores and locations and they have a new store called honey and Lou, and it's like the cutest stuff they have baby they have home decor they have like literally so many things and i saw on their instagram story i was like obsessed with this pair of pajamas because i'm like super into little matching pajama sets when i go to sleep and i saw these on the story and i was like i need those and she sent them to me and i'm so excited i think that the pink is so cute and i also love nutcrackers and i don't really have anything like this. So I will link these. They're called the Lux Satin Pajama Set in the print Nora. The brand is Jay's, what does it say? Jay's Studio, and I got a size medium. And they have a bunch of other patterns and prints. I'll put their Instagram on the screen here and you guys can click on it. And if you see anything on their website, they do ship, because I know it's kind of like only local to Georgia, but how stinking cute is this gonna be? I'm like so excited to go take a shower and get all clean and cozy and put these on. Two more boxes of Poppy. I think I prefer Poppy over um, Olipop. I am such a big Poppy fan. I was actually talking to a few girls in LA about this weekend about like Olipop and um, 
poppy difference and I just love poppy for some reason. This one is one of my favorites, the purple. I think it's meant to taste like grape soda. Doc Pop, I think. And then they have they sent me root beer and then the classic cola, which to me tastes like literally just like Coke. So I love having these whenever I want like a sweet treat or something. Anyways, that's what we had waiting for us when we got home. I also have that big Williams Sonoma package in the back that I need to pick up and I need to clean up the kitchen and just get this house back in order. So I'm gonna take a shower, put on my new jammies, I think. I'm so excited about these. And I wanted to show you guys my hair care routine because I was getting some questions about like what I've been using for my hair because my hair has been so healthy lately. And I've been using the JS Health shampoo and conditioner and then after the shower I put in a like hair oil and then I use this like leave-in conditioner. So I'll show you guys when I go shower upstairs. But I'm gonna go put all this stuff away and break down some of these boxes really quick. Rue, we're not gonna be playing tag right now. I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys the hair products that I've been using for like months now. This is the JS Health, this is the Repair and Shine Conditioner and the Cleanse and Revive Shampoo. I'm obsessed with these two as a combo. The smell is really, really nice and I feel like it leaves my hair really clean. I feel like sometimes certain um, like shampoos and conditioners can still leave like build up in your hair, but this one I feel like my hair is always super fresh and it lasts a few days before it starts to get oily. I can like go probably like four or five days without washing my hair sometimes. When I get out of the shower, I use this towel that I use to wrap my hair. I don't use like a regular towel on my hair, especially because of my hair extensions. The hair is like a little bit more delicate. So this is a Volo towel. That's what I use when I get out of the shower. I think that they sell them on Amazon so I can link them. They'd be a cute little like gift for someone too. I think they're like 20 or 30 bucks. I have it in pink and tan color after i get out of the shower i use like any type of leave-in conditioner will work i just really like this one the orbe moisturizing cream and it just i feel like makes my hair not dry and obviously does what it says moisturizes it um it says work into damp hair blow out or dry naturally use on strays throughout the day so you can like keep applying it which is what i like because like I said, I don't wash my hair every day, so maybe by the third day I can tell it's getting a little bit dry and I'll add that into my hair. And then lastly, I use this after my hair is like fully dried and styled. The Gisu, Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I really love this stuff. I get it off of Revolve and I really like it. Um, I've been using it for literally months and I've only made that dent in it. I use like the tiniest bit because I feel like when you add oil into your hair, it obviously makes your hair oily. So when I got off of birth control, my hair was especially oily because of all of my hormones and I feel like it's just finally getting back. So I wasn't using it as much, but I do love using an oil if I can tell that it, my hair is getting dry. So that's kind of what I've been doing um, for heat styling and stuff. I always use a heat protectant and I think just like not dyeing my hair blonde anymore has totally helped. Like I said, use heat protectant. I've been using the Dyson or I'll use um, my curling iron. Like every so often I love to let my hair air dry. I feel like that is also the key to getting your face, or your face, your hair healthy is to put as least amount of heat on it as possible. So anyways, that's the little update hair care routine, I guess I wanted to share with you guys. I'm just putting on some of this jet lag mask. I feel like since traveling, I feel like my skin is really, really dry. Like I'm really thirsty. I feel like I'm dehydrated. I've made like two huge waters and I feel like chugging them. So I'm gonna go downstairs and make another lime water. Dylan is like ready for bed because he's obviously on Nashville time. It's almost midnight here and I feel like it's only like nine o'clock, nine, 10 o'clock. So I'm not quite ready for bed yet. So I'm gonna go downstairs and maybe like watch a movie or something. I have on my new pajamas and I think that they are so cute. I'll show you guys in the full length mirror, but I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit before I like actually go to sleep because I don't like going to bed with like soaking wet hair but my lips are also like cracking that's why i know i'm dehydrated here's my pajamas oh, yeah. outfit of the night what do you think of them they look good i think that they're really cute i love the pink i'm wearing a medium if you guys dm them in order i'm wearing a medium i kind of want to get like another color for christmas but like Christmas Day. Right. 
This is probably my number one favorite holiday candle. I'm obsessed with it. I need to order some more. I saw that they sell them on Amazon and I also saw that they're at Crate and Barrel. So I'll probably maybe go into Crate and Barrel this week and grab a few more before like the holiday scents are gone. But it is so good. It's from the brand Nest and it has, it's not a huge candle, but it has a long burn period. I just cut the wick and it's like in there. That's what that black thing is. But I'm obsessed with it. And I like how it's kind of neutral and gold. I have the tree on, garland on. I'm gonna try to find something to watch. I wanna watch a Chris I kinda wanna watch a Hallmark Christmas movie. Like why? I think Prime Video has a lot of Christmas movies. Lily and I were supposed to be in LA till Sunday, till tomorrow morning, but we actually left like when Revolve booked my flight, I asked them to let us go Saturday because I thought I was gonna be able to make it to Dylan's banquet, but it just didn't work out. But I'm really glad that I'm home tonight because it'll be really nice to have like a Sunday reset tomorrow and then start fresh um, on Monday because I feel like it's gonna be a pretty busy work week. It's like the last full work week, I feel like, before everyone leaves for Christmas break. So a lot of things to get in before like the new year before the end of the month like all the deadlines for brands and things like that so it'll be a busy work week so i'm happy to like have tomorrow to get the house in order and go grocery shopping and all that stuff so the next few vlogs will be home vlogs which i'm excited about a little not traveling all over the place um but then we do have i have one more trip at the end of december and then we're going to athens for two days um athens georgia where i went to school for dylan's sister's graduation so the, that's kind of like the rest of my month um Wait, I kind of want to watch Elf because I love it. Oh my God, you guys, The Polar Express is my favorite Christmas movie. I haven't watched it yet. I have to watch it. I'm going to rent it.